Okay, today is the time to finish our robots. So the first thing we wanna do is I'm going to use a really thick Sharpie and a regular Sharpie to outline my robot. So we painted them last time. And if you notice, I'm trying to use the edge of my Sharpie to outline all these big details. So I'm just using the big Sharpie to go around the outside of my robot. All of those big items. If your Sharpie does not work, trade it in and get another one. And yes, you can give your robot some cutie eyes. But notice how that black marker automatically makes some of those lines pop. Then I'm gonna use a regular Sharpie to do some of my tiny details. And I guess they're not really tiny, but just any of those extra little details you have, you're gonna wanna use just a regular Sharpie. All those awesome designs that you guys had, if you had gears or whatever, if you maybe need to add some more of those little robot lines, that's fine. Now we're gonna cut it out. When I cut it out, I want you to leave a little bit of a white, little bit of a white border when you're cutting it out. That way we won't accidentally cut off an arm. If you accidentally cut something off, no tape. When you glue it to your background paper, you'll be able to glue it where it needs to go. The hardest thing to cut around sometimes are if you had little antennas on your robot, you want to be really careful about that. Again, sorry you're having to watch me cut through it all. Luckily, I am getting pretty good at cutting and I can cut it out pretty fast. And I am going to cut, if you can. There's enough white space in here that I wanted to cut. But again, when I'm cutting out, I left a little bit of a white border all the way around my person. When you're done with that, your last step is to make a background for your robot to be on. And your robot can be on any kind of background. I'm using gold or silver, one or the other, don't use both. And I think I'm gonna just keep this simple and just make lines behind. That would be the easiest way to do. Don't scribble. You wanna keep them nice and neat. See, that just looks a little bit better and then I can glue my robot on the top. Again, it's really important when I use my glue stick, go around the edges. Go around the edges to glue that on. And that will be my final product. Some other patterns that you might want to do is you could do gears. A whole page full of gears might be fun. Big gears, small gears. Since gears make things go. So you could fill your whole paper up with gears. But again, pick one pattern that you're going to fill the whole paper and either in gold or silver. Make sure you write your name on your red paper and you put your class on there. 